She is Lucius. I don't know how to fix this wig, but we're already filming. We're just gonna go with it. Deck the halls with tons of stuff. Fa la 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 la. It's not Christmas. <laughs> I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Hey guys, Tessie here, and I'm back with yet another Harry Potter haul. Tessie, you're buying more Harry Potter? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So shocked. But first, let's talk about Audible. A big shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. Guys, it is now 20. 20, a new year, which means it's time for New Year's resolutions. Not good at keeping your New Year's resolutions? I feel you. Don't worry, Audible is here to help. Right now, Audible is hosting a challenge to new and current members. If you finish three audiobooks by March 3rd, you get a $20 Amazon credit. And we all know that I love Amazon more than anything. This wig is from Amazon. This headband is from Amazon. My entire life is from Amazon. Amazon? Are you my mommy? And no matter what your resolution or goal is this year, you can find the perfect audiobook on Audible to motivate and inspire you. For my New Year's resolution this year, I am going to try and take better care of myself, both physically and mentally. I want to try and put my own happiness first. And to help me with that, I am currently listening to the audiobook The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin on Audible. This audiobook is a year-long experiment that tries to discover ways to create create true happiness for yourself and use it in your day-to-day -day life. I definitely recommend it. After joining, Audible members can choose three titles every month. One audiobook and two exclusive Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. Audible members also get access to exclusive guided fitness programs, so it's perfect for starting the new year off right. Start listening today with a 30-day Audible trial. Go to audible.com slash tessanetting or text tessanetting to 500-500. That's Audible.com slash Tessa Netting or text Tessa Netting to 500 500. Thank you, Audible. I love you. All right, back to the haul. So everything from today's haul will be linked in my description box below. Check that out if you want to get stuff. <laughs> First thing is this shirt that I am wearing. How cute is it? Look at this cute little Ravenclaw crop sweater. It's from Elhoffer Design. I freaking love it. It's like perfect. <laughs> I have too much stuff. I'm gonna start with all the stuff that I got at the studio tour. It's a little outside of London. It's it's a whole thing, but oh my gosh, it's so worth it. It is the best. I love it so much. And I have such amazing stuff there. Like every time I go, I buy so much stuff. That in the Wizarding World, they know how to take my money. Let's start with well done, dragon. It's the dragons from the Triwizard Tournament. Free them and the pouch so you can choose the dragon that you're going to fight in the tournament. Here's the common Welsh green, the Swedish short snout, the Chinese fireball, Ooh. and of course the Hungarian horntail, one that Harry fights because of course he gets the scary one. So here are all the dragons. Let's put them in the pouch and let's see what dragon I am going to have to fight. Who is it? I can't like grab any of them. Okay, it is, of course, <laughs> it's the freaking horn tail. Harry and I have the same look. I would so die in two seconds, what the heck? Next thing I got is Tom Riddle's diary. And I know what you may be thinking, Tessa, didn't you already have Tom Riddle's diary? Yes, I did, but I destroyed it. <laughs> Rizzy and I like, <laughs> Stuck a hole through it with a screwdriver. So I wanted one that wasn't <laughs> destroyed. This is why I can't have nice things. So yes, I got another one. And let's be real, I just got this because I wanted to chat with Tom Riddle. Hey baby, you up? <laughs> Okay, next thing I got, freaking notebooks that look like textbooks. These look so good. Okay, I, I have to. <laughs> Tales of Beetle the Bard. And then you open it up and look, it's all shiny and pretty, the foil. And it's a little notebook. This is so freaking cool. The Ravenclaw in me loves 
themed school supply. <laughs> and then we have this, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Basics for beginners. Look at the freaking red foil. Why are all these cats on here? Why are these people reading a book and then they're reading a book and then they're reading a book? This is a very bizarre cover. I kind of love it though. And the last one, Fantastic Beast! New Scamander, baby! I'm also one of those people that like obsessively collects notebooks, but then I don't write in them. Like, Tessa, why don't you use one of your many notebooks? It's like, no, because I don't want to ruin them. They're so pretty. I want to look at my notebooks. So I collect notebooks to look at them. I should probably start writing in them, right? Anyway, here's another notebook. <laughs> Here's another notebook I bought that I'm never gonna write in and just stare at. These are the smaller little notebooks. I actually might use this because I'll put this in my purse. It's like, oh, I just remembered something or keep this in my car. Do I wish it were bronze? Yes. Does it really matter? <laughs> I really like notebooks. You guys are learning about my notebook obsession. Goes to the studio tour, buys all of these notebooks. Okay, what else did I get? Okay, I got a ton of cards. These are all like pop-up cards. I also got like two of each of the ones I really liked because I want one to give to someone like a, a Harry Potter fan in my life, aka probably Brizzy. And then the other one is for me because I want to keep it for myself. For example, here is a birthday card that says happy birthday with Hagrid on it. And then when you pop it up, it's a 3D butt cake. This is like my dream. Maybe I should give this to Joe and have him give it to me. I baked it myself, words and all. And then this is the other card that I got two of because it was so freaking cool. So this is the outside of the card. It's Hogwarts. And then what pops up is Hogwarts, like the whole castle. Just like, it's like this massive card and you open it and it's Hogwarts. It's like, I'm really tempted to open this so we can see what it looks like, but I also just don't want to wreck it. If you go visit the studio tour, they have all these on display. So go to the studio tour and then you can see them all in person. This is another one that's like a Valentine's Day card. Oh, it says love and friendship. <laughs> if I'm a keeper, then you're a catch. And there's a snitch in there and it pops up. You open it up and there's a snitch inside. Gotta love that. And then finally, I got a howler. This one just says for all occasions because you never know when you're gonna have to yell at someone. And on the inside it says, you've got yourself a howler. And it pops up and it looks like a howler. That looks so freaking cool. When I saw all these pop-up cards, I was like, oh no. Oh no, I need all of them. I got these. <laughs> at the studio tour. They're little tea towels, a Slytherin one, and a Ravenclaw one. My house, Joe's house. This is what being an adult is all about, is getting your own Harry Potter place. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, this is my house. My house, my Harry Potter stuff, everywhere. I got this bag. It says Newt Scamander British Bachelor Extraordinaire. Like, <laughs> is this like <laughs> the Bachelor Wizarding World Edition. Will you accept this rose, AKA, will you accept this Niffler? Like, I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I'll bring this to the grocery store and fill it with potatoes. There he is, Newt Scamander, Bachelor <laughs> Extraordinaire for all American witches. What does this mean? Is this like a... <laughs> This is so bizarre. Look at this British wizard. Who knows? Oh, I got this freaking postcard because this is my favorite part of the studio tour. When you see Hogwarts, I cry like every time. I can't help it. It's so cool. It's so pretty. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I got at the studio tour. When I was at Summer in the City, we were doing a little panel and it was for Noble Collection and we were all like picking these things out of a bag and we didn't know what Noble Collection thing we were gonna get and it was like this whole thing and I, I, I can't remember if I got this Niffler or if I traded Vegard for this Niffler. Whose Niffler was this? Is this my Niffler? It's my Niffler now. Noble Collections Niffler. There he is. And you can take him off the stand if you just want to hold him. Got a Niffler in your pocket. I love Nifflers. You guys know I have too many Nifflers. I have like stuffed Nifflers, small Nifflers, big Nifflers, Nifflers of all sizes, a family of Nifflers. And so this Niffler is joining my Niffler family. Little coins. 
Look at him, he's so happy. You're just a happy boy with all those little coins, aren't you? Okay, here's here's all the stuff that I got in the Harry Potter shop that was in the airport. Because even in the airport, I can't escape Harry Potter. This is why I love London. Because they have Harry Potter stuff everywhere. And what did I buy? I bought bows and scrunchies literally of each house because i always like to have equal house representation because i have no self-control so i have four scrunchies nah. come on scrunchies work with me so these are sold at the harry potter shop and platform nine three quarters now my hair is too short and i can't wear these scrunchies but one day my hair will be long again and I can wear these scrunchies and be the Hogwarts Visco girl that I was meant to be. I guess I could always just wear them on my wrist. Hair bow, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. Jojo Siwa is so jealous of my bow haul, but look how cute they look. Ugh, I love them. It's like a great size. I like big bows, itty bitty bows. This is from Instagram. How cool is this wand guys it's a cursed child inspired wand so like look at how amazing it looks the craftsmanship and detail in this wand is insane it's made with so much love so you have to check out this shop like i love everything that she does i'm telling you there are such good wand makers on instagram they make such incredible like specifically themed wands that are like really cool and i want all of them <laughs> i want them all i want to get all the wands you guys know i love cursed child so i thought it'd be really really cool to have like a cursed child themed wand and also because like I don't have that much cursed child related stuff a ton of Harry Potter stuff a ton of Fantastic Beasts stuff but I don't have that much cursed child stuff so it's really special we stand look what I bought again I bought one for each house because I have no self-control super Carlin brother mugs so the super Carlin brothers they have their own like little coffee company that they have and they were selling mugs here's the Gryffindor one, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. These are such quality mugs. These are my favorite types of mugs. I love these types of mugs. Ah, look at them, look at them all. Oh, my new mug babies. I can't wait to use these mugs when I'm researching all these different theories and I can just feel like the Super Carlin Brothers. I'll channel their inner knowledge of theor theorizing nerdy things. That's all I want in life is to be more like the Super Carlin Brothers. So yeah, as a Ravenclaw, two things that I get very, very excited about are notebooks and mugs. Speaking of mugs, Here's another mug that I got for Christmas. Sorcerer's Stone, baby. Sorcerer's Stone merch is my favorite because it makes me nostalgic as heck. Ugh, I love it. This is from Out of Print. They have great Potter stuff. They also have socks, which I bought. Look at these. Sorcerer's Stone socks. I love book merch. The American artwork for the Harry Potter books. I love it so much. I want to tattoo that so badly. You don't even know, like have a full arm of all of the artwork of all the books. One day, maybe. Or maybe like a leg, just a full leg. The dream. What else did I get for Christmas? Uh-oh, another Horcrux. This one is Hufflepuff's cup. And I got this from my sister, who is a Hufflepuff. And actually, I want to use this in my wedding. It's for a future video. But yes, there are going to be Harry Potter elements in my wedding. And this will be involved. It's like we destroy all the Horcruxes at my wedding. <laughs> That's an activity that we are all going to do. During the ceremony, different Horcruxes will be released. We will hunt them down and destroy them. Our minister is dressed as Voldemort, and we must duel him in order to become married. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's it. Comment below what your favorite thing was from this haul. And make sure you like this video so I know that you want me to make more Harry Potter hauls. I just want to say thank you for being patient with me while I took a couple of weeks off. I really needed the break, um, but I am back and I cannot wait to make more videos for you guys. I have so many ideas for Harry Potter videos, you don't even know. Yeah, 
I'm excited about them. Okay, I'm taking this wig off. Whoa, she's bald. I look like a Malfoy scared Potter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can geek with me every week. Follow me on Instagram, listen to my podcast, and don't let the muggles get you down. Say gold starfish, bye. But you know, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. Expecto Patronum!